On a move that affects the transgender community, Floridians can no longer elect to update or change their gender on Florida's driver's licenses, according to a memo sent to state officials by the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. The memo says previous policies that allowed residents to elect to change their gender are not supported by statutory authority. According to the memo, existing statutes dictate that Florida's Department of Motor Vehicles can only issue a replacement license when a license or permit is lost, stolen, or when there is a subsequent change in the licensee's name, address, or restrictions. The memo further says that someone misrepresenting their gender, meaning not using their sex assigned at birth, constitutes both criminal and civil fraud. Civil rights groups say the new license policy is the latest example of targeted attacks against transgender residents in the state, which has seen new restrictions in recent years on access to gender-affirming care and access to bathrooms. Since we're leaning on the Constitution today, let's just start there, and then I hope that my friends at the table can add to this. Um, the U.S. Constitution's preamble, the very last portion of it, is to secure the blessings of liberty with the Constitution. And we certainly hope that states will do that too. I'm not sure that our LGBTQ friends are securing the blessings of liberty when the gender of their heart is being denied on a government ID. But the practical aspect of this is how do we enforce it? What will this mean to the relationship between our very tender, marginalized community of LGBTQ and the police when we already have issues in our community of trying to create inclusivity and support for one another? So I think we really have to look at this and what is the intent, what would be the impact, and what does it really mean about liberties? And just to just pull in the Constitution one more time, you know, the Ninth Amendment says that the framers intended that there were other liberties that should be protected. It actually says the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights should not deny and disparage those held by the people. They may not have been able to foresee the liberty of LGBTQ. They certainly weren't the most inclusive bunch, but the spirit of the democracy, the spirit of natural law, the spirit of unalienable rights means that our friends in the LGBTQ community, our families, the ones that we love and our neighbors should be protected just like anybody else. Hunter, what's your take? Um, I really, I don't really even see this as much of a, a big issue in the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, I, don't, I think this is more of like you said earlier, it's kind of stirring the pot. Um, topic. Um, if we really look at it here, the, the, the cards themselves just say sex. And we always hear from the LGBT community, um, sex and gender are separate. So why is it now that they're trying to make gender equal to sex on the cards? It's, it's purely based on, a, on the biological part. We are the man or a woman. This is your card. This is how the government but IDs it, you. It, for somebody who's made a transition okay. from a woman to a man, okay. now has a beard, and they're pulled over by the police and the police look at the man with the beard mm -hmm. and say says here you're a woman but you look like a man so does that present a whole host of problems well no wouldn't that wouldn't that in and of itself wouldn't that tie into exactly what the lgbt community is saying which is my gender is not tied to my my, my biological sex but contextualize it with all the other culture wars that are going on well, in the state of florida and you might have a hostile well, situation for our friends that well, deserve you, the protection of the law you want to talk about hostility let's say for example so there's a car wreck someone gets assaulted you know we're talking about safety issues here the medical concerns if someone says that on their id that they're a male and they give them too much let's say morphine or something and it, I don't really understand how the medicine works and I'm just you know a regular guy but they administer too much because it's not for the right sex what happens then? I Who trust you, our I trust our healthcare providers. Um. Well, well, well here's my question to that if you just trust their healthcare providers if you just trust they're gonna do their job what happens when someone makes a mistake are you gonna hold them because they, they made the mistake? The or, 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 we're, we're almost out of time.